in the last video i was pointing out as to how we are having actual food for our starters but are trying to satisfy ourselves with an essay on food for the main course how we begin our pursuit with the direct experience of life and how we are trying to satisfy ourselves with some explanations and uh, we need to understand that if human pursuit is beginning with an inadequacy of experience it can only end with a more direct experience of life it can't end with explanations and then i was also pointing out that presently we have a very deep sense of loyalty pledged to the mind because with all our outward affairs of life mind has helped us greatly it has helped us organize life gain convenience and comforts on the outside and therefore we think mind can solve life itself for us mind can fulfill us so this deep sense of loyalty has to be shaken up if something more than the body and the mind has to happen to us now shaking up this loyalty to the, to the mind is not a very placid thing that will happen like solving a puzzle this loyalty is very deep rooted and shaking it up requires a tremendous amount of energy so if our, if the loyalty that we have towards thought towards mind has to be challenged we have to very clearly come to see the limitedness of the psychological faculty its helplessness in grasping life and uh, fulfilling us now coming to see the helplessness of mind it doesn't require your intellect necessarily you can do it uh, by simple observations also and if you don't do it by yourself life will anyway corner us and push us towards that direction anyway let me give a simple example i don't know if you will like it or not but see for example what do you, what is it that you think you feel when someone very near and dear to you dies yes it involves uh, emotions of loss and such things but the surge of intensity that happens within you in such instances it uh, also involves a very stark question mark a stark sense of uh, bewilderment or wonder or in intrigue or puzzle you have you want to call it part of your tears in such instances are actually tears of ignorance because you are clueless as to what happened as reality hits you mind's helplessness comes to the forefront you are shaken out of the illusion of your knowledgeability and you are brought face to face with the reality of your ignorance all the stories and philosophies that you might have satisfied yourself with they all fall flat as you uh, realize that you actually you really don't know about the nature of life you lived under the assumed uh, protection of the mind's emperorship and it was supposed to be your sole savior in a sense it was supposed to sort out everything for you figure out everything for you and it was supposed to never allow you to go into any kind of shock but when certain situations occur like this mind just gives up and uh, it goes blank it just leaves you and you feel like an orphan its limitedness becomes glaringly evident and the sense of protection and security that the mind had offered you it proves to be phony now in these moments this your deep sense of loyalty that you have for the mind it gets a very strong thump whether it leads to something more or it just fades away within a few minutes or hours or days that's a different thing but i'm just trying to give this example to show you what is the meaning of seeing the helplessness of thought what is the meaning of challenging your loyalty to thought what is the meaning of challenging the authority that you have given to thought to you know sort out everything for you so coming to this state of question mark 
it's not necessarily intellectual you can take the help of the intellect to do it but it is not necessarily intellectual you can see even the most unintellectual ones getting into this state uh, in such instances when death happens or when their own death becomes evident to them i recently saw an old man who was uh, who got into some health problem and he was i could see that he was in some kind of a uh, bewilderment he was going on asking as to how could this happen why did, why did this happen he was in some kind of bewilderment and a state of question because the mind had created some kind of delusion that you know, things will stay as they are everything will stay as it is and life will go on and on and on without any disturbance that is a delusion everybody has you know whenever something happens you whenever somebody dies or whenever people going to help problem they will say just yesterday i was well just yesterday i was fine this is the exclamation they give which means there is a delusion the thought has assured them don't worry everything will be fine everything will be fine everything will go on undisturbed like this so when reality hits them like this that loyalty to thought gets a very strong thump and they go into that state of question all their religious beliefs all their stories everything just gets blown away all your belief on god and whatever whatever it is gets get blown gets blown away because all was just your construct of thought anyway to keep you lukewarm to keep you peaceful so coming to this state of question mark coming to this state of challenging the mind pushing it to its corner and showing its limitation to itself holding it by its neck and pushing it against its own walls it doesn't require much of some intellect you can take the help of intellect but it is not necessary as human beings we should be sensible enough to come to it by ourselves before life situation corner us animals don't have that or at least they don't seem to have that kind of awareness to exercise their uh, memories and imagination and come to see that this can happen to me next moment and uh, see the limitation of thought animals may not be able to do it but human beings have that psychological faculty we have that level of awareness and uh, a glance at the world should suffice for us to come to see instead of allowing us to uh, allowing thought to fool us and living in some kind of delusion we should acknowledge that we are already cornered instead of waiting for life situations to corner us so if you come to that kind of a state where you are very intense within yourself but you have realized that mind can't help you so naturally all that energy will not not be invested into thought now that intensity can lead to something more than the mind as long as you are intensifying yourself and supplying all of it to sort out something using your thought to figure out some answers get some answers get some explanations you are going on spending it within your psychological plane itself and nothing more than the mind can ever happen to you if that sense of intensity is not there if you are just doing some puzzle solving within thought spirituality is not going to happen